by Semi Magdi Associated Press Cairo, Sudan's military seized power Monday, dissolving the transitional government hours after troops arrested the Prime Minister. Thousands of people flooded into the streets to protest the coup that threatens the country's shaky progress toward democracy. Security forces opened fire on some of the crowds, and three protesters were killed, according to the Sudan Doctors' Committee, which said 80 people were wounded. The takeover comes more than two years after protesters forced the ouster of longtime autocrat Omar al-Bashir and just weeks before the military was supposed to hand the leadership of the council that runs the country over to civilians. After the early morning arrest of Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok and other senior officials, thousands poured into the streets of the capital, Khartoum, and its twin city of Omdurman. They blocked streets and set fire to tires as security forces used tear gas to disperse them. As plumes of smoke filled the air, protesters could be heard chanting, the people are stronger, stronger. And retreat is not an option. Videos on social media showed large crowds crossing bridges over the Nile to the center of the capital, while the U.S. Embassy warned troops were blocking off parts of the city, it urged the military to immediately cease violence. Pro-democracy activist Dura Gambo said paramilitary forces chased protesters through some Khartoum neighborhoods, she said the sporadic sound of gunshots could be heard in many parts of the capital. Records from a Khartoum hospital obtained by the Associated Press showed some people admitted with gunshot wounds. In the afternoon, the head of the military, General Abdel Fattah Baran, announced on national TV that he was dissolving the government and the Sovereign Council, a joint military and civilian body created soon after al-Bashir's ouster to run the country. Baran said quarrels among political factions prompted the military intervention. Tensions have been rising for weeks over the course and the pace of the transition to democracy in Sudan, a nation in Africa linked by language and culture to the Arab world. The general declared a state of emergency and said the military will appoint a technocratic government to lead the country to elections, set for July 2023. But he made clear the military will remain in charge. The armed forces will continue completing the democratic transition until the handover of the country's leadership to a civilian, elected government, he said.